You're watching Port Charles on Game TV 11. Mama? sent him a message, okay? What did you tell him? The truth. But not all of it. Just enough to haunt him for what he's done. And punish him every single day for the rest of his life. Lucy. Oh. Doc, hi. You startled me there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, how are you doing? Are you... Feeling any better? Actually, much, much better. Good. Most people don't share that feeling when they come out of that room. I didn't know you knew, Claire. Well, I don't. I mean, I, I didn't. I, I, I do now. You know, everyone has been uh, talking a great deal about her case around the hospital. And? And I am the newest board member, and I just thought it would be wise and kind to sort of, you know, um, get to know every detail. And? And? is it with you there always has to be another and because i know you well oh doc it's just i am so close you know to losing christina and and i sort of i sort of went in there and just had a, a talk with claire that i i wanted to let her know that i thought maybe scott was too busy to take her case does scott feel the same way or does he even know that you're here well, I would tell him. I mean, he would know I was here if he would just call me, but he hasn't called. Why hasn't he called? What is going on at the hearing that could be taking so long? I just want to know what's going on there. <laughs> what are you looking at? You. Why? What's the problem? Is it true what they said in court? Are you back on drugs? You know what? If I am, it's thanks to you. to me. Karen, what's that supposed to mean? I'm gonna figure it out. Well, what I figure is that the pills that fell out of your pocket the other night weren't breath mints. Well, congratulations. You got it. I guess better late than never, right? Hey, listen. Listen. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not judging you. I, I just want to help. I can handle it my own life, Scott. I don't need you to pretend to be my hero. I, I'm not pretending anything. I, I'm your father. Well, if murder's got a statute of limitations, why shouldn't the father thing, right? I, I might have needed one seconds. when I was little, but now you're too busy fighting for a baby that's not even yours, so it doesn't really matter. Does Karen, 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 your mother never told me about you until you were grown up. And why is that? You know, what is it with you men? You have sex, you make babies, but if it's a one-night stand, uh, who cares, right? You're not playing fair here. If you didn't want a baby, you shouldn't have slept with my mother, or at least you should have used protection, something. I, I was in high school. You make a mistake every five minutes. Well, this mistake can take care of herself. No. I Listen, listen, I didn't mean mistake. Your mistake's grown up. Let's go. Karen. In life, you know, you, you get in trouble, whether you're young or old or whatever. There, there's, there's, there's roads you go down, you get lost, they're dead ends. But what's important is there's somebody there to help you. Oh, and that would be you. Yes, I am here. If you just let me, I don't want you to go down that dead end again. Again? 
Again? What do you know about it? You weren't even there when I got hooked the first time. Listen, listen to me, all right? No, 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 no! You listen! I made it this far without a father, and I don't need one now. So take your guilty conscience and get the hell out of here. Dr. Collins, a Mrs. Smolens on hold for you. Right, I asked her to track me down. Thank you, Katie. Lucy? No, go ahead. I'm fine, right. thanks. So, Julie, you and Chris are here. That must mean that Scott proved his case and the judge realizes you abandoned Christina and made her decision. Then here I thought you were psychic. But if you were, you would know what got proved today is that Christina isn't safe in your house. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you leaving my baby alone with a drug addict. A what? Karen is on drugs. You're crazy. That is crazy. Don't waste yeah. your breath, Lucy. You're obviously desperate enough to say anything. You know what? You're putting Scott and Lucy through. It's bad enough. But to drag Karen's reputation through the mud without any evidence oh, at all... Oh, Chris had all the evidence the judge needed to order a drug test. And when that, that comes won't back happen, positive... It won't when happen. it does... It won't be long before the court decides that Christina is better off with her natural mother. Over my dead body. Well, that's your call, Lucy. Okay, I admit it. I thought about what you said, and you have a point. About what? About how I can see where a mother m might make some really lousy choices if she's faced with losing her child. I get it. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like it, but I get it. Well, I appreciate you saying so. Don't mention it. You know, there's probably something I should mention. And you're not going to like it. What now? At the hearing today. Julie's attorney went after Karen. What for? She's been popping pills again. That's a lie. Yeah, well, we'll see after the test the judge ordered. If what you say is true, this could ruin Karen. Yeah, I know, but something tragic could have happened to a patient here. Oh, oh, I get it, yeah. It's all for the good of the hospital, right? It wasn't about taking Karen down. Julie just wants her baby. You know what's tragic? I will tell you what's tragic. When this is all over, no matter where that baby winds up, it'll be one tragedy after the other, with Christina heading the list. Oh, okay, this can't, it just can't be true, Lucy, that's all. Lucy, take it easy. Just what take it easy. True? Think, Doc, what if it is true? What if Julie's right and Karen is back on drugs? She has been acting a little different lately, and Christina did get hurt while Karen was taking care of her. Wait a minute, you told me that was just a little bump. I, I know, but a, a lamp, a lamp actually fell on her. What if Karen was on drugs and I left my baby in her care? The, the court could use that against me. I, I have to do something about this. No, 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 this. Lucy, Lucy, talk to Scott before you come up with some crazy scheme. I cannot wait for Scott. He hasn't even called me. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. What could it be? Then you had... Do you have any idea how hard it is to hear this from Julie? I had to hear it from her. Why am I going through all of this alone? You think you're alone right now, don't you? But you're not. I'm here. Oh, that's right. I have a dad just like that because you say so. Yeah. Come on, look at the last three years. Yeah. Uh, Karen, once I, I, I found out of you, once I was able to come out of, 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 of hiding in Canada, I've done everything to let you know how much you matter to me. I can't wipe out those years just because you, you suddenly think you're up to the job, okay? Do you think that I wanted it this way? Then why didn't you change it? Even after you found out about me, all you did was, was, was send a check and, and a little note saying, have a nice life, and then you went right back being the perfect father to Serena. Well, I'm your daughter, too. Why couldn't you love me? Wasn't I good enough? Wasn't I good enough? Knock, knock. Well, hey. Come on in. You're, uh, you're a little early. Actually, 
Actually, I'm late for an appointment with my attorney. Oh. Oh, I see. So uh, you're here to cancel our session again. I'll pay for the time. That's not the point. Then what is? Well, it's as if you're deliberately pushing me out of your life, Julie. You know, wh why do you take everything I do and say so personally? All right, a direct question deserves a direct answer. Maybe it's time you learn a little something about me. Hi. Hi. It's not the wedding, is it? Well, we still haven't finalized the seating charts. But no, it's, it's not the wedding. What's on your mind, then? Chris told me something that I don't want to believe. About Karen. Do you think it's true? I hope not. Well, I hope not, too, but... But what? I saw her taking them. Taking what? The pills. Oh. I saw her taking the pills. She said they were for her allergies. I didn't know she had allergies. Well, she never did before. Damn it, Kevin, why didn't I see it? You know, she came to me. Uh, she tried to tell me she was in trouble. But I was so busy, wrapped up in our plans, that I didn't hear her. It's not too late to listen. Think of all the damage that's already been done. And how much more there could be. You better? So is this my happy water? What's that mean? Serena told me when she gets upset, you make your special happy cocoa for her. We've missed that on a lot, haven't we? Can't go back now. No, we can't. But you know what we can do? We can go forward. You know, I can not take you for granted. We can just, you know, um, I don't know. Neither do I. You know, when I found out about you, I wanted to find you. But you were on your honeymoon, and I figured that you'd, you know, gotten your life together, and I sent you some money to, to have a, a life, you know? I, I, I was in hiding in Canada, you know? Serena and I were in danger, and I, I, I couldn't risk it. And you couldn't go back anyway, right? No, you can never go back. I knew that it was going to take time to put a relationship together, you know, and if that was going to happen, it was going to happen, and I was right. Aren't you always? Listen, listen, you know, I feel bad enough for what I did, but I'm here now, so let me just be a part of, of your life and... and Okay? It's too late. No, now you said that you want to have a father like Serena has, and that's me, okay? That's, that's, you've opened my eyes to that. Now, now that I know what you need and what you want, don't turn your back on me. Because I'm not going to let that happen. No? No. Mm. No, I'm not, you know? I mean, come on, I guess no matter how grown up you get, and I know this, that there's a, there's a kid in, side of you that's always, you know, hurting. And well, thanks for pointing that out. No, listen, uh, I'm the one that hurt you, but I'm also the one that's going to try and correct that and help you and, and be there. Finally, there you are, Karen. Lucy, Wait, um, I just need to ask, is, is it true? It, it can't possibly be true. You weren't high when you babysat for Christina, right? Lucy, um, listen, this is not the time I know. It is true. How could you... How could you do that? Just listen. Th just not right now. Wait listen, a minute. No. no, it is right now. I could lose my baby no, because it is, of no, you. No, listen. Not right... I, yes, no, it is. No, no. I'm listen, not done listen, with her. Listen, yes, you are. Come here. Come here. I just don't believe it. I do not believe this. Karen was actually on drugs when she took care of Christina. How can you defend her like that? I don't care who she is. I care! She's my daughter, all right? Now, there's a bigger picture here, and this is not the time to yell at her. <gasps> Destiny had led you. Something's wrong. He could be dying. Lives hang in the balance. Well, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Who's there? Is she an illusion? Nora, where are we? Come on, Will. Stay with me. Or a guide to the other side. Nora, take my hand. We'll go together. Emmy nominated One Life to Live. ABC Daytime. Sorry about that. Mrs. Palumbo thought she saw the ghost of Andy Rooney in her room. 
He's not dead. Tell her that. Uh, Kevin, I've been doing some thinking. Uh-oh. No, not about Karen. Well, then, it must be about the wedding. I think we should go our separate ways. You what? It's about making the time that we have before the ceremony really count. Uh-huh. Yeah. We live apart, and, and we miss each other like crazy. And that'll make the ceremony, and what comes after the ceremony, really great. What do you think? I think it's your call. So where will you be staying? At the lighthouse. Excuse me? Yeah, well, because I have to get it ready for company anyway, so... Well, come to think of it, I guess I wouldn't mind a couple of days of being pampered at the Port Charles Hotel. Well, that's what I had in mind, too, until I, I ran into to Victor, and he had another suggestion. No. You're going to go stay with Victor and Mary for a few days. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is one of those cruel before the wedding jokes, right? No. You do understand my desire to throw something heavy at you right now. Yeah, here, try this. No, I wouldn't want to ruin a perfectly good paperweight. Especially one that I've had forever. Really? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get it? A patient? Promise you won't lob it at me if I tell you? No, you just gotta trust me and take your chances. It was a present from Grace. Keeping mementos of old girlfriends, are we? Yes, old girlfriends as in past tense, as in bye-bye, Miss American Pie, a galaxy long ago and far, far away. <laughs> Look, you don't have to sell me. If anyone believes in keeping the past where it belongs, yours truly. That's just one of the things I love about you. Really? Mm. Count the ways, one to ten. One. Hmm. In my practice, I, I have been known to fall into maternal patterns with my patients. And for some reason, I bring out these maternal instincts? I think it's because your mother hasn't been here for you. I, I feel like there's a void that I need to fill. I don't know, Rachel. I, it seems to me like, like I have been filling some kind of void for you. What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm not the psychiatrist here, but I can't help thinking that watching your own mother die while you were still so young. Yeah, you know, uh, you, have a, you have a good point there. You're probably right. Well, ma maybe you should talk to someone. I, I'm only looking out for your best interests, which is what I've been doing for you, Julie, and I hope that you realize that. That's why it is so hard to let go when, when I have these feelings. Or let go at all sometimes. What is that thing you can't stop fidgeting with? This is, it's just a paperweight. Just a paperweight? Yeah, you're right, you're right. It has more meaning than that for me. Where'd it come from? It was a gift. Wait, wait, wait a second, okay? Listen, I'm sorry. I know you were waiting to hear from me, but all of a sudden, you know, Karen became this marked target. Oh, right. And as you just so kindly pointed out, as if I didn't know, she's your daughter. Well, Scott, you have another daughter, too. And she needs your help just as much, and she can't even speak for her little self. I understand that, but right now, Karen needs a little bit of help. Oh, right. And so does Claire. Claire, who's dying in the hospital, she needs your help. And Julie. Actually, Julie needed your help to get out of Ferncliffe, and everybody else in the world needs your help. And you're concerned about them. Well, what about me? What about me and helping me keep my baby? Lucy, it's, first of all, it's our baby. You know, with all the drama around here, I just might cancel cable. Uh -huh. Well, feel free to keep sorting the mail if you need more excitement there, Doctor. Now, well, listen, no, wait, wait. are you going to come home with me or not? Are you? No, I can't. I've got to spend some time with Karen. Oh, right, because that father-daughter thing. Yeah, I'm a father. Right, and you're... 
Christina's father, legally. So you're not really worried about anything, are you? You're not worried at all. I'm the one who has to fight so hard to keep her. I'm the one that has to worry. No, there is nothing for you to worry. Lucy, I'm sorry to interrupt. This just came for you. Okay. Thank you. Are we done with this fight, or are we going to have to pick it up again at happy hour? Oh my God, what is this? What is that? I, I don't know, but someone is threatening to kill me. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles, if you keep going at this rate, Someone's going to get hurt. I'm an addict. Oh. We are your first priority. You are my first priority. But why can't you see how much we need you? Visit the official site of the Daytime Emmys at ABC.com, part of the Go Network.